Welcome back to the Worth It postmortem, where we watch old Worth It episodes. I was on edge to hear what you call this show. Right, and it's, it's still unnamed. We've got a lot of contenders out there. A lot of contenders, but postmortem today. Yeah, Worth It reheated maybe, or I, uh, Worth It doggy bag. <laughs> Adam, what are we watching today? Audience request. Mm. This is an audience episode. We're watching my favorite episode. What? Come on down, Adam. I'm getting out of the chair. No, actually, I'm staying behind camera. You're staying behind camera? Why? Because I, I don't want to be on camera. Okay. But he does have a mic that he's holding. My favorite episode of Worth It, Sandwiches. No, what? Sandwiches. Are you serious? Yeah. You not, not toast? Sandwiches. Sandwiches is just toast with extra things in between it. Just two toasts. Mm. <laughs> hmm, this is interesting. I'm very, I'm very surprised to see that this is your episode. <laughs> Here's the thing. This show, much like your favorite TV shows, your actual favorite episodes are the ones you don't remember because you had such a good time watching it. Ooh. I, I don't buy It's that. like the, fu the funniest ep episodes of a sitcom you don't remember because you were so busy laughing. Also, yeah, this theory. was one of like, the episode that I directed. I was getting to control this one, so that's also Got you. But to be gotcha. truthful, you do control pretty much every episode, so. He's the wizard behind the curtain. Today, we're doing sandwiches. Yes. We're taking sandwiches international. Great mm -hmm. music. You know what? Actually, this was a fun episode. We did three cities. Four, if you can include Athens. Ha ha ha. I love that. So this is the same season as uh, Eggs in Japan, and you could there's an egg fact where an egg shoots over the the horizon of the frame, and it plays that same audio cue. So, synergy. <laughs> Andrew, can you talk about saying that bread isn't important? What's the more important part of the sandwich? The contents or the bread? That is a debate we are going to be putting to bed this episode. To bread? <laughs> nah, it's mostly gonna be about meat though. Because people got really mad. Oh my gosh. That you said bread isn't the most important part of a sandwich. Apparently a lot of people were mad about this, which Adam informs me now. Did not know that. I knew that in the comments. I, I, I see you. Commenters. Commenters. It's not that we don't care about bread, but there's a lot of different ways to do a sandwich episode, so we just chose to focus on the meat. The sandwiches that we chose for this episode were a lot more about the meat than the bread, so we just wanted to set that up in the beginning. Bolton's is interesting because there's a lot of debate about who invented or who first popularized the, the Nashville hot chicken. Right. But. Bolton's is definitely one of the earliest ones. And yeah. I think we wanted to make sure that we covered a yeah. place that we felt was true to the original story of the fried chicken right. Nashville sandwich. Adam was really eager to have a fried chicken sandwich on the show. Uh, but he was like, there are a lot of places really capitalizing on that, but we wanted to focus on one of the original places. Yes. And Bolton's is one of those places. A, I can now see why this is Adam's favorite episode. That Those was a great graphics. Graphic. That was a yeah. great one. That's definitely an Adam graphic treatment. A. Ooh. Oh. I want to eat that right now. Some people are like, sandwiches are all about the bread. I'm like, uh, false. Oh, wow. I really committed to that perspective in this episode. <laughs> I like bread. I like bread a lot. Yeah. I'm a bread lover. No, you, you are a bread lover. And <clears throat> I think it was just. What you were trying to do was you were trying to make a point. It's trying to start the conversation. Yeah. You know? And sometimes you gotta be contrary to make the conversation more interesting. You tend to sweat a lot on this show in every episode, every way. And I, I, I wanna point this out. A Ooh. lot of comments were saying that I touched my eye on purpose to make the show more dramatic. I am not in favor of making pain for myself. Otherwise I would've started a, a different show called Unsolved. Okay, but I did <laughs> worth it. Yeah. Where we get to eat food around the world and explore cultural stories in amazing right. ways, not hunt ghosts. No. So, no, I did not do it on purpose. If you want to watch a show where people fake it, watch Unsolved. 
But yeah, a lot of people accuse you of being like, oh, they're just putting on a show. But you were really feeling the pain of the spice, oh, right? Oh, yeah. And that was my most regretful moment. So I remember watching the first cut of this and you could not really convey with just like normal film making, straight documentary style, what we were going through. Right. So I remember Adam jumped on the keys, put this little thing together and- The editing keys. Yeah, right, not the keyboard. And that was a very magical um, and accurate display of what we experienced. Yeah. I see him. Kind of a, uh, a, a funky, spooky time. Mm -hmm. That's how I describe that segment, funky, spooky. Oh. It was really hard not to do the same thing that everyone else does when they're eating. Because mm -hmm. like Hot Ones has a very unique, really cool way of visualizing being in pain from spicy food. Is that binging with Babish? No way, that's yeah. not him. Is it Wait, real? Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up here my window. Hey, is that binging with Babish? Yo! <laughs> We're filming our last episode right now. All right, enjoy it, have fun. So, Andrew is a, a friend, not of the show, but of the people of the show, of us. I actually uh, finished the editing for this location. Oh, thanks. Yeah. So, because we filmed in so many different cities, uh, you'll see at the end we go to Japan, the editing duties were spread out among multiple people. You can see the credits at the end, but mm -hmm. for this location, I, I stepped in and did some of the editing finishing. Yeah. Oh, can we eat that, please? This is one of my favorite restaurants in Los Angeles. This is probably one of my favorite restaurants, period. Wow. Yeah. Why? Why is that, Adam? It's, it's good. The food tastes good. Shameless, self-gratifying <laughs> plug. Okay. On our last day in Japan, I went out with Annie to film City B-Roll and just kind of like randomly stumbled across this street and this might be my favorite thing I've ever filmed for the show. Why? I, I don't know. It's just like... The composition <clears throat> and the, yeah. it, uh, the light is great. The light is great. I was trying to find something that conveyed like the simultaneous complex density of Tokyo, but also like the silence. Mm. So it's like a quiet street, but there's two trains, there's a guy on the bike, this red car here is nice. Mm. Double train. Double train, yeah. Double, Double train. train. There's actually opposite directions on different levels. There's actually a third train somewhere else that had run previously, but you can't see in this shot. So we went to this place, Let's Let's talk about let's talk about this place. Talk about how good that food is. That sandwich. triple nipple. Adam is saying how good this place is. We took a one hour taxi ride to this place. Yeah. To film a whatever two dollar sandwich and then a one hour taxi back home. Just to film this location. That is the commitment to making the show good and featuring good food. So it's funny, out of all of the places in this episode, this is the one where it's all about the bread. You know, I, the, one of the weirdest things I will get from people who are fans of the show is, you're so funny, or wow, like you should be a comedian. And I'm yeah. like, yeah. whoa, no, definitely not at all, first of all. And I don't even know how people get that. But I think it's just the comedy of sharing this experience together. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to describe, the f show isn't, funny, but it is funny. Like we, we're not, we don't try to be funny, but. No. It's funny in the way hanging out with your friends is funny. It's not funny in the way a comedian is funny. Yeah. Very good, Adam. Yeah, it's like the, the final edit has a personality that isn't the same as what it's like in real time. It's funny how close this sandwich mirrors the first sandwich mm. in the episode, mm -hmm. you know? Because it almost doesn't make sense for it to be between two slices of bread. Right. It's a very luxurious, thick slice of steak 
that's deep fried. Deep fried, and then put between two slices of toasted white bread. Right. The restaurant is so small. Yeah. It's like uh, less than an average coffee shop size. There it is. Yeah, that, there's the whole thing. The like you can see the menu on the right wall, and you can see the kitchen on the left. And there's a person for scale. This is basically the whole place. Yeah. It's one table. One, yeah. That's where we ate. This was a food that I struggled not to eat quickly. Yeah. I was like, I have this much. I cannot go fast. <laughs> I need to savor it. That is something that you're very bad at, is eating slowly and pacing yourself. I mean, when you got a Wagyu fried cutlet sandwich. One thing that I will say about this particular location, when we shot at Wagyu Mafia, there were many options in the States to do a Wagyu sandwich. Right. One in LA, there's one in New York, but we decided to take the extra step and go, this was a very intentional move by I think you and Adam, one of you guys, I don't know who, to go to Japan and actually cover one of the original locations because that's important for the storytelling of the episode. Right. Oh, this is one thing I hate about the show is when you guys suggest that we do like an ice cream for an interstitial. <laughs> because I cannot focus on talking while I'm eating something that's melting in my hands. It's a ticking time bomb. See, look at all that fun to be had just was by forcing fun? you to eat ice cream sandwiches. What was it? I didn't have fun. Ice cream sandwich, another sandwich that's not about the bread. Boom. Well, that was Adam's favorite episode. A surprise to me, but no longer a mystery. You're kind of right though. Watching it again, I'm like, wow. There's a lot of great details about this that I don't remember. Yeah. Man, you know you know the last thing I'll say? That was a fun episode. <laughs> I don't often get left with a feeling of fun, uh -huh. but after watching that, I feel fun. So if you haven't caught it yet, we just released another Worth It episode, Noodles. Check that out. Check it out. And we've got one more coming out this coming Sunday. Last one of the year. It's uh, also sandwiches. So, and then also a week from now, there will be another Worth It Watches. So watch that too. Watch out. Worth It. Watch. Maybe that's what we should call this. Worth It, watch out.